There's a controversial statue of a dead Prince Harry with Princess Diana joining us right now from across the pond is Sky News Entertainment correspondent Neil Sean. Good morning to you, Neil. Hey, Neil. Morning, morning. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. I'm doing better than ha Prince Harry. How would he like to wake up in the morning, look at the paper, and he's dead in a statue? Isn't this the most atrocious story and the most atrocious real sculpture? I mean, what's interesting here is we, we've just seen the story, obviously, today. It broke late last night. Now, we're appalled over here in the UK at this, not just because, of course, it is in really bad taste anyway, but given the fact that what's going on right now with the royal family and, of course, his beloved mother, sure. does he really need this now? And the tackiness of the whole sort of uh, escapade, if you like, it's going to go on display in a hotel here in central London and then apparently going to be sold on eBay. I mean, who uh. would want to buy that? And ultimately, you know, what an awful thing to have to look at. You know, a sure. real big sympathy for uh, Prince Harry this morning. And, and Neil, speaking, speaking of what's going on over there in London, it's the inquest that has begun again into Princess uh, mm. Diana's death. What did you think when you saw these new pictures, including this one that we're looking at here, um, said to be her last smile? You see how happy she is just an hour or two before her death. Yeah, well, you've got to remember, of course, that we've seen some of these images before. I'm not that impressed, really, with what they're coming up with, because we have seen stills of this before. This story is so big, as you can imagine, it's every hour we've got a breaking news story on this. What's interesting that one of the papers is picking up here in the UK is the fact that it says that he shows that Princess Diana was in love with Dodi al Fayed. Now, of course, that would be music to the ears of Mohammed al Fayed, the owner of Harrods. Uh, but I think it just shows a very relaxed woman, very in tune with her own company, and, of course, the people right. around her. We're not convinced sure. that she was in love with him as such, but he pops was a very good sort of holiday companion okay. in a very troubled summer. Hey, Neil, stand by. We want to ask you one more question about the Super Nanny Show. Big brouhaha. It's big here and there as well. More with him. Still with Neil Sean, live from London. Neil, what's the deal with Super Nanny making kids cry over there? Oh, it's a big story. This is the best story on Super Nanny. Now, we, we know you, you've got problems there, but when she went to a family over here in the UK, uh, she went and sorted out the family, and then she left. Then the kid burned the house down by setting fire to the curtains or the drapes, oh, and man. the house has gone to cinders. But Super, Super Nanny has, in fact, actually not gone back to sort that problem out yet. But, Neil, it also <laughs> sounds like she herself may have to sit in the naughty chair because she's making kids intentionally cry? Yeah, well, actually, I've met Super Nanny in the flesh. She's terrifying, to be honest. But, I mean, like all reality TV shows, you know, it is part entertainment. And the story that's breaking over here is that, yes, they forced children to get upset on camera. And then, of course, the children weren't that upset. You know, if you believe it, it's a great story, of course. But for Super Nanny, I think many people will be sitting on her naughty step for some time to come. And she's a multimillionaire from this show. Who's going to stop her now? Sure, exactly. Neil Sean, join us live from London. Pleasure. Take care. Thank you very much, Bye, Neil. Neil. Thank you.